Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to create a Django middleware. I had an interesting use case recently where I needed to inject something inside the uh, inside a view context and for that the middleware was the most appropriate choice. So what is a middleware in Django? It is uh, like a plugin which you can uh, plug into the request response cycle. Um, a middleware can be a simple uh, Python function, but I uh, like to write middlewares as classes. And uh, the middleware needs at least the init dunder, dunder method, uh, which takes uh, uh, get response as a parameter, and that get response can be the view or another middleware. Really, Django uh, doesn't care whether it is a view or uh, a middleware, it will uh, inject the right uh, kind of uh, object. Um, also, we need uh, to implement a call dunder method. Um, the init method is called uh, as soon as the, the Django server starts, while the call method is called anytime you uh, visit the Django application. Uh, now, the call method needs to return at least the response which is the result of calling get response uh, and passing in the request parameter. Now, first thing first, let's create a new um, folder for this Django project. I'll call that make me middleware and I will go inside the folder once inside the folder, I'm going to create a new uh, Python virtual environment. Here it is. Let me activate the environment too. And once inside, let's install Django. Now, with Django installed, I can run Django admin uh, for creating first the project. So, let's start project. Uh, make me middleware inside this folder and also we need a Django application uh, which could be just demo so start up demo uh, let me open up this project inside PyCharm and next things next thing I need to do is activating uh, as usual, the virtual environment for this project. Uh, let's give PyCharm a moment for indexing every folder inside the project. Um, while PyCharm is doing that, I need also to configure the uh, editor to um, recognize Django. Here it is, Django. This way I will get a nice autocomplete anytime I need to uh, access some function in Django. Now, uh, let's get started with this middleware. Now, uh, uh, um, the middleware class can live in any uh, file, any folder, but to keep things simple, let's create uh, the middleware in this file called middleware.py. Now, a middleware as we really saw uh, is a Python class. Uh, what I want to do here, I want to inject something inside the uh, inside the context of a Django view. Let's say we want to inject some uh, Python object, and that will be then in the view translated to um, JSON. Uh, to a JSON object, to a JavaScript object. Uh, so I can call this middleware JSON uh, middleware, for example. And this middleware we need to implement in it, taking the get response, 
this get response is assigned to uh, an instance variable get response then we need to implement the call method this is actually required because without this call method the middleware will not be able to um, forward the request and the response to the other middleware so response equal self dot get response by passing in the request and at this point we can return the response now um, oh let me configure the interpreter here okay just a moment existing environment here it is here we go um, now what I want to do here I want to inject uh, some Python object inside the uh, context of the corresponding junk view. So uh, here in the init method inside the middleware, you can also uh, declare a one-time configuration. Uh, for example, I can uh, put an object here, my JSON object and that could be a python object where maybe you have this uh, key name let's age 45 now keep in mind that this is a really contrived example uh, it is just for demonstrating how to create and how to work with a junk middleware. Uh, now, uh, what I wanted to do was injecting um, new data inside the context of a Django of the Django view. Uh, so, by scrolling down in this documentation. Uh, you can see that there is a process template response. Now, if you go to the template response documentation, you will see that uh, this template response uh, can be used to uh, alter the view context and can be used to inject data in it. Um, and to use this hook, you can declare another class method here called process template response uh, again this takes the request as a parameter but I'm not going to use it so I will leave it as an underscore and then we need the response now at this point we can inject data on the context with response.context data uh, we will add a new key on this context object uh, which can be my JSON object. Now this JSON object will be equal to self dot my JSON object. At that point we need to return the response. And really that's it. Uh, with a simple middleware you can inject some uh, custom data into the view context. In a moment we will see how to get that data back from JavaScript. Um, now um, let's activate the middleware in the project configuration inside settings. Uh, first uh, you need to uh, activate the app. So my app is called demo. Dot, and we will activate the app with this class and next we can activate the middleware here so the middleware lives in demo.middleware.json middleware it is important to keep in mind that when Django receives a request uh, middlewares are uh, run from top to bottom when the um, when our response leaves the Django application middleware uh, read from bottom to top just keep this in mind 
uh, okay now well, let me create uh, some URLs for the um, for the demo application we're going to create a new file called URLs and inside this file I am going to import from Django URLs import path and we need also a simple view for now there is no view but let me import it anyway uh, where patterns equal uh, path uh, we can declare a simple path called demo that will load the index view um, the index view is interesting because it will be a template a template response view uh, so we need to import from django dot template dot response the template response view uh, let me wire up the url and we'll see in a minute what this template response does um, so here we have the url uh, let's go in the urls of the application uh, let me import include to here and we can add a new url here include my demo dot urls okay uh, let me see what we got let's do a quick run python manage.p run server oh okay cannot import name index from demo views of course let's create our view then oh but before let's create the uh, template let's create a template um, a new folder i need a new folder here uh, templates uh, demo here it is here i'm going to create a new uh, html file called index okay um, now um, let's use this view for a moment inside the um, this template uh, let's use this template inside the view here so the template response um, let's define this uh, function first which takes as usual the request now if you want to uh, provide some context to the to the view you can just declare your keys here uh, oh, let's create a name equal uh, John for example in a um, classic view you can return this context to uh, with a render method with a, a template but what what I want to do here is to inject uh, another key inside this context from the middleware so for doing that we need to return template response and that template response takes the request takes the template as well and takes our context now, now let's run the application again it is at this url let me go to demo let's load the page and here it is we have a blank page now let me use this uh, name uh, key here we can access that key like so so if i were to uh, reload the page i would see john here but now let's see if we can get this json object in the template there is a um, a template filter called json script it works like so you can pass for example the um, your json object that you declare in the middleware so i can say my json object to the json script 
filter followed follow it by the the key you want to use the that will be the id for the html element let's reload the page uh, and if i open the console i can see that there is a new script tag here with the id my json object uh, it is of type application json and it has exactly the data that i declared in my middleware here so we uh, just injected uh, randomly custom data inside the, um, the view. Uh, of course you can access this uh, tag with document get element by the my json object dot text content and that will give you a, a string a javascript string that you it can also parse with json dot parse and you can use from now that uh, object that javascript object inside your code so let's recap what we've done so far we create a new middleware we create a new Django middleware the init method is required as well as the call method the init method is called once the web server starts the Django application starts the call method is called whenever a user makes a request to the Django application and with process template response we can uh, alter the context for the view. Um, just the important thing to note is that you need to uh, use a template response which is the kind of response that uh, gets you uh, gives you the ability to uh, inject data inside the context. Now I will leave in the description the link to the Django uh, documentation for middlewares and for the template response as well. Uh, Django middlewares are very powerful and uh, you can use them whenever you need to uh, hook into the request response cycle. That's everything for today. Happy coding!